Okay, throw some hurt at the boss. Couple more skull buddies. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are going to attempt the Kendall Waste Hollow Halls solo as a pure mage build. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is get this set down here. So that way we have a spawn point. And um, I'm going, there's a couple things I'm going to do here. I ha I'm bringing a hawk chest with me because it's a minus 31% stamina depletion when gliding for the really long glide that we'll have towards the end of the dungeon. Uh, and I'm also bringing my extraordinary glider because it's a little bit slower and that'll give me a little more time to react to the cor corners and, and curves and dips and, sto and so forth on that flight. I have made that flight twice. The second time I did it, I did it the, on the first attempt. The first time it took me like five times, I think. Uh, to do that uh, so we're bringing that we're bringing some campfires uh, I got a stack of greater ectoplasm soup um, which will give us more damage against the hollow and life leaf uh, leech chance um, you know then I got kind of the usual potions here and also I'm gonna bring the shroud weaver staff because uh, it's got a health regeneration and more fire magic damage uh, and we still have the undergrowth staff too. So the idea is we we you know use this to to nuke, and then if we run start run out of mana, we can switch to this one. Um, and if we need an extra boost to get our uh, health regeneration back, we can switch back to this for this recharge. Uh, we have the scorching one maxed out, and the ritual tempest one, and the usual um, food, except for that in here. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to. Uh, use the soup in place of the grapple plant. Um, as far as what we're wearing, we're basically wearing the, the full elder chest set. Uh, so I have that on. Uh, I know, uh, I, and I, I'm going to say this again because I continue to get people commenting on this. Yes, I know that I should, quote unquote, be wearing a paladin chest and paladin pants for, for health. I know that's what the recommend recommendation is. I agree with it. I understand why. However, I want to try it in the mage gear. And if you know, if, if we struggle, you know, severely in here, then maybe I'll switch it up to the other. So it's not that I don't know that. It's just that I want to try it this way first. The other thing that I'm doing different is that I switched to a ring of stamina and a ring of health as opposed to the elder rings, and you know, see if that helps us a little bit because I was having some stamina issues. Uh, in the Highlands Hollow Halls. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's equip this. Um, there we go. So that'll be our, our ranged weapon if we need it for any reason. And yeah, um, I have done this hall twice, but both times on multiplayer. So I'm familiar with it, but this will be my first time attempting it solo. So we'll see how things go. We might go in here and do well, or we might, the place might kick our ass. <laughs> so we'll just have to wait and see how everything goes down. Okay, so, uh, also it goes without saying, this is probably going to be a multi-part episode because it takes a long time to get through these places, this place especially. Um, I don't know that I'll do a whole lot of breaking uh, vases. I know it's certainly worth doing, but... It does make this thing take a lot longer. So I'll probably break some of them, but I don't think I'm going to break every single one we come across. Uh, we will, of course, check uh, coffins that we can loot. All right. Okay, so let's get buffed up because we'll have a, a small group of enemies to to fight in this first room here. All right, 
right, so we're going to take this. That does reduce our, our health cap a bit, but the benefits outweigh the, um, you know, the downside to that. Okay, and then um, let's pop an elixir, an ice protection, flask of the fell, flame scroll, and I think that's it. I want to put... Uh, you on the toolbar so we have summoning skulls to help as needed and I think we're ready to do this um, we got eternal light burst eternal heal channel eternal fireball oh uh, you a couple of you guys have asked me in the comments too um, to show what my build is for those of you who haven't been following along um, so basically as you can see I'm, I'm full-blown uh, wizard tree um, with you know the fi fire and lightning here I've got Radiant Aura. Uh, over here we've got Blink with Emergency Blink, and we have um, the Wand, the Battle Mage stuff there. A couple points into uh, to health types of things and armor, um, you know, strengthening armor. Over here we've got Terror, Critical Hit will stun targets. We've got Updraft, and just you know a bunch of mana and and a few spirits. And then over here uh, we've gotten all the way to Desert Stomach. Uh, and have double jump. Okay, so those are the skills for this particular build. And some of you have told me that there are more um, unmarked routes to be had. I just haven't found them yet, so I'm actually not maxed out on my points. Which is good to know, so we'll have to be, you know, be looking for those, keep our, our eyes peeled and so forth for them. Experience scroll. Some red marble. Okay, and some arrows. Giant bone arrows, those are good. Okay, let's get this party started here. So these guys are gonna be a little bit tougher um, than uh, they were in the, in the other uh, dungeon. Oh. This guy, sh I should just be ranging, but I want to get a little more used to uh, to using the the light burst because it's a uh, it can be really effective if you do it right. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like... It. Wait, is that? Yeah, none of those are lootable. Let's go ahead and nuke these. Uh, we've got to switch to fireball here. Some more... Oh, shit! I didn't even see you there, man. You thoity rant. I like that stun, man. It's very useful. We've picked up quite a bit of the red, uh, the red brick in this place. Um, is there a secret over here? Oh, uh, maybe it's in the first. Uh, maybe it's in the. Oh, look at that first room. Uh, where you know that we have our first spawn point. I, th I think there I think there's a, a hidden room in all of these dungeons in the early you know right towards the entrance but I'm not seeing anything so maybe it is in the room with the the spawn point okay that's a lootable coffin and this one is as well. Fire Wisp Summon. Oh, is that anything? Nope. All right, here we go. This is the point of no return. So 
or something behind that, maybe? Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. Some good stuff on the floor there. Don't need those. Another thing I was told in the comments by you guys is that I don't actually need to set my campfires down because if I die, I, uh, they come with you. You don't lose them. Um, so that's good to know. Another experience scroll and some more arrows. Okay, let's do this. There's a uh, ice protection and some arrows up here. And uh, yeah, again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend a lot of time breaking breaking vases. Let's just let's go. We got we got a lot of work ahead of us here. Oh, right. That's, this is the room that has all the, the skulls in it. Okay, that takes care of them. Um, I don't care about this. I don't want it cluttering up my... Oh, we have it equipped. And that and those. Trying to see if there are any um uh spawners in here. some fire this way. Oh yeah, look at that. Got their attention there. Okay. So far so good. I think we gotta go that way. There is a spawner over there. Okay. Oh shit, there's a spawner over there. Get them all? I think so. All right, so I 
think there's a secret up here. That was a place where we go up into the to the ceiling. I might be thinking of a different location, and let's also let's pop into these because it's super dark in here. All right, yeah, I must be thinking of a different place. You come up into one of these big rubble piles right at the end of a hallway, and there's a, a place that you can go up to another floor. And I thought that's where this place was, but I'm not seeing it. So it must be in a different location. Okay, let's go. Caster down there. Let's use this staff to get some mana back. I don't know if there's a is there a spawner over there or not. Shit, I didn't even see those guys there. Yes, there was a spawner down there. There's a caster there. You dead. You dead, sucker. Grab this staff to get some health back and get ready to nuke this guy. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. caster down there. We need health, so let's use this staff. Okay, there's a spawner down there. Let's go to here. This will help get us some mana, among other things. Our skull buddies are helping us out. Get all those big ectoplasm crystals. Ectoplasm crystals. <laughs> Did I miss one up here? I don't think so. Okay, before we go all the way down there, um, there's a spawner right below us. We have to be careful, though, not to, uh, here, let's get it from this side. Because I don't want to go barreling off the edge. Oh, still didn't kill it. That got it. Okay. All 
All right. I think there's probably some more spawners down that way. Let's just lob something down there and see what happens. Okay. Attacks. Apparently they can't get to me from here. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, we got a a scythe guy there. Careful of him. I th think we got him. Yeah, we did. Okay. We have 52 ectoplasm crystals already. That's good. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want that. Or this. Or this. Or those. Um, I think we'll hang on to the rest of the stuff for now. of bugs in this room. I'm trying to remember if there's spawners. I think there might be spawners like way in the back. Like way back there maybe or in the other parts. Don't remember for sure. Let's just lob a fireball over there and see what happens. Yeah, it's just a little bit out of range. Okay, well, let's head on down. So we gotta get three uh, three mark mark thingies. And I think we do that by killing the red scythe guys. Alright, we could probably retreat to here if things got really bad for us. Uh, or this side. Alright, let's go. I do see a bunch of bad bads over there. Some oh my god. Whoop. Oh shit. All right, so I guess they do know how to get up here. These are all shroud dudes.
Let's um let's drop a couple of these for some assistance here. Something over there. We need mana back. Is there anything up that way? Oh, I see the... I see the guys that we gotta kill. Okay. Alright, let's wait for our mana to come back. And then we'll nuke over there. Um, I wanna go up here for a second. I don't think there's anything up here. Do we lose our skull buddies? All right, there's one sigil. Oh, never mind. I guess that's all of them. Okay. Anything up here? I don't think so. Okay, let's go through here and we get to our next checkpoint. So we made it to the second checkpoint without dying. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Some arrows and a scroll. Fire wisp summon. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I think what we do here is we fly down. I don't think we'll have any enemies on the first platform, but then when we get to the second platform, then it's boss fight time. We're still doing okay on all of our buffs. Okay, let's go. Right, we're clear of enemies here, I think. Okay. All right, so when we get down here, the shit's going to hit the fan, so uh I guess we'll we'll do the best we can. <laughs> okay. Maybe what we ought to do as soon as we land is uh, throw down a, a few of these to give us some immediate assistance. So I think that's what we'll do. All right, here we go. Whoops. Oh, shit. Alright, that is so many fucking enemies all at once. Wow, alright. This is gonna be tough. Um, okay. Well, let's, um, I, I don't remember, uh, like I said, every time I've done this, I've had um, tanks with me that go down and get the aggro first. 
Um, so I'm just not super familiar with the best way to handle this. Obviously, me taking too much time to throw these skulls out was not a good strategy, so we'll still try and get some of them out, but I need I need to um, do something a little better than that first. I think maybe what I sh might start with is, is light burst, just to try and get some of them guys off of us as soon as possible. Um, or maybe I should start with the wands. I don't know. Let's just go. Is there any place I can get to that's kind of high up? Whoa, shit. Okay. Oh, not from him we can't. <laughs> what the hell am I thinking? We can maybe get away from the little guys. Huh? Oh, shit. Okay. So, we need some kind of a strategy here. And... Okay, that actually kind of helps us a little bit. Except for I have no fucking stamina right now. Oh, what am I doing with my pick? God damn it. No stamina. Yeah, I have no stamina. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard, you guys. Gotta think about this. So because they're just totally overwhelming me, I wonder if I should I should um I mean the thing about light bursts is I need to jump to be effective. I can't just stand there and do it because then they're just going to interrupt me. And if I'm running out of stamina, that's not going to work. I mean, seriously. If there was some place I could kind of get up high and, you know, give myself a chance. Okay, let's put that on light burst. You know, if I could if I could get some place momentarily safe so I could get some skull buddies thrown out. Um something like that would help. I think partly while I'm running out of stamina too is that uh Well, I don't know. Alright, well let's just try it again. I, I'm just gonna have to kind of feel my way through this fight and try and figure it out, you know. I can't sustain this. I'm going to run completely out of buffs. Let's... Let's try a wand and shield approach. For a minute there, I might have been onto something, but <laughs> nope. Maybe what we do is try and get to that first spawner and take it out. Let's just start with that and see see if we can get that far. And then if we do manage to do that, then we'll we'll go further. You know, I could have had I I had a couple of moments where I could have thrown some skull buddies out too when I did go back to that corner. Okay, so the plan is to take out the spawner on the left and see if we can get a couple skull buddies out and then we'll go from there. Might be an absolutely terrible plan, but right now I just haven't had enough of an opportunity down here to figure out what the hell to do.
Okay, good. We got that spawner out. Now let's take a health pack real or health potion here. One more. Okay, good. We got that out. Okay. Now let's uh let's get some skull buddies out. We have a oh shit. Okay, take a health. And then get out of here. Skull buddies. Good, he's doing his thing. Let's bring on the hurt here. Ah, shit. Okay. Take a health. Okay. That guy's stuck, which is quite fortunate for us. Okay, boss is coming. Okay, more skull buddies. Okay, let's take this opportunity to throw some hurt at the boss. Throw some hurt at the boss. Couple more skull buddies. Got him. Whew. Okay. God, that was intense. And this guy's still stuck, which is super fortunate for us here. Let's take a couple of these and get rid of him before he gets unstuck. Oh my god, we did it. We did it, but oh man, that used a lot of our resources. Let's carefully go over here. Okay, so... Um... We got the Gloom Monarch boots. So the strategy actually kind of worked well because I, I immediately went over to here and the boss didn't immediately aggro on us. They gave me enough time to take this spawner out, to jump across the other side, take the other spawner out. And I, in, <clears throat> excuse me, and I had a few moments to, you know, some time to get the skull buddies out. And then I also, you know, learning from the last time I fought this guy, stayed close to him when I, you know, when I can actually control the fight, um, which is much better than to try and stay away from him because, you know, his reach is just so gnarly otherwise. Um, yeah, wow, that was intense. Okay. So, um, let's get rid of a few things. Uh, no, 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 we don't want to get rid of those. Uh, we don't want that shit. We don't want this. I don't think I want these because I think I already have a couple sets of them. So let's just get rid of those and uh, get rid of the bones. And I think we're good. So we didn't completely exhaust our supplies, but we certainly whittled them down quite a bit. Okay, good. I was starting to doubt myself there for a while. <laughs> but we, we made it happen. Okay, let's get to this next checkpoint. Put a campfire down so we can get as much rested as possible. Uh, what the hell did I just do? No, put that there. Uh, 
Don't even remember what I had in that spot. I think I had the light potions. Okay. Let's sit down. Um, oh, this is only a level 8 room. The other room was a level 10. Oh, well. Kind of doesn't matter because it's going to wear off way before we get to the next one anyway, most likely. Let's proceed. Okay. We have two red circle guys. Three red circle guys. Okay. So I can get up here if I if I really get in trouble. Um okay. Let's nuke. not the time to be sitting down. Where'd you guys come from? Okay. No, get the loot option. Or search, yeah, that's what I mean. I want those ectoplasm shards. Yeah, that one's gonna be too much of a pain in the ass. Skull buddies take care of him. There must be a spawner over here. Is there? Go over this way. Oh, Lord. Where'd you come from? Oh shit! Get the fuck off me, man. You guys are pissed me off. You guys must have just been popping out of the bones because I don't see any spawners around here and there. They just kept coming.
All right, let's see if this is the place that has that secret area. Don't see it up that way. Oh, there it is. Nice. Silver chest with a level 25 snake spine wand, but unfortunately, it's just a common, or not even a common, a whatever the white category is. Uh, all right, that's, I think that's all that's in here. That's the spot I was thinking about, though, that was at the top of, like, a rubble pile. Are we supposed to go in here? the way we're supposed to go. Okay. Alright, I want to go back this way. Just make sure we didn't miss anything important. It's got a lid on it. Uh, and also, yeah, loot any of those guys. That's the way we came through. We went this direction. Then I got kind of chased back over here. There's a big door down that way. I saw something up there, but I guess not. see what's in here. This might be a chest room. Okay, took that one out. Got it. Good. Sinister Crescent Staff. Legendary. And bad guys, of course. What does this thing do? Ice magic. Ooh, 10% more damage against the hollow. 10% more damage against the hollow and mana leech. Hmm. We might consider that. 
Um, we, we're not going to use it right now, of course, because we, we can't upgrade it until we get back to back home, but that could be a decent staffer in here. I don't know. All right, so we looted all that stuff. We came from there. In fact, let's go back here and repair before we proceed and also refresh our rested. All right, down we go. 